what's up welcome back to my youtube channel what's going on uh, so from the title of today's video uh, this was supposed to be like a get ready routine kind of video but for some reason i i forgot to shoot that part but uh right now i'm ready to work and yes i know i was supposed to like drop a video every single day because of vlogmas but I wasn't being realistic, I wasn't being like <laughs> I was in La La Land for a minute when I said that in my in my um recent upload. But however, great news, great great news. Uh for those of you that suggested I go to Cape Coast, I, I will be going to Cape Coast over the weekend. Uh, this video is uh, for you guys to actually tell me what particular places you want me to visit in Cape Coast what places are really cool because I only know a few places like I have I have been to Cape Coast before but that was like on a school trip I went to Elmina Castle with school like normal school trip I think that was my first year in uni it was a very 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 fun experience it was the student union whatever they took us there so it was it was very 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 fun a fun experience so i don't really know the places to actually visit but probably i'm going to have somebody that would actually um accompany me to cape coast someone that knows like a thing or two about cape coast and i i can't wait to actually go there like i can't wait. i'm i'm looking excited like <laughs> i can't wait to vlog i just hope i can get like enough content because these days getting content is like a serious serious hassle you know and uh, i can't traffic in the morning is not so bad like let me show you guys this is what i can't traffic looks like it's not so bad it's moving now this place is called. This is this called. What do you do? In 400 meters, to the left. You don't know. Can you imagine? This night I don't know what this place is called. Um, I think we are pretty. <laughs> I think we are around 37 people. I think we'll soon get to the 37 military hospital. I think it's around. Uh, focus. This is around 37. You know. There isn't much traffic by this time, although it's like morning people are going to work you know there wasn't really much traffic on the road so uh, uh title of this video again is like living in ghana basically life so far you know uh, life so far in ghana this year has been not bad for me it's been it's been it's been cool it's not been bad we've been managing small 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 <laughs> just just like a drive through video so I, I i want to talk to you guys about something i'm thinking of what just to probably give you guys this morning let me see 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 what what i talk about this morning something to see what do we talk about now okay first of all this is the land commission place if you guys ever heard of this place before okay yeah okay now basically i wanted to ask like you guys what are some things you look out for when you're trying to acquire a land in ghana what are some major things you look out for yeah i always wanted to ask you guys that question because i've i don't know and would you guys rather buy land to build or would you rather buy a house that's already ready Personally, I feel like I'll buy a house that's already ready. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time to stress over Mahala. Like, if I have that kind of money, I would just invest and buy land. I mean, buy a house, you know. I feel like I can I can buy a house, you know, then maybe later on, when I have more money, I could just not really demolish it, but kind of, you know. Because I feel like that's what a lot of rich people do. You see people like um, celebrities like Kim Kardashian, you see the Ace family, you see Beyonce, you see people like that, they buy houses and they kind of like break it down and do it how they want to. It's still going to be like the same thing but it's add like some of their touches and everything because honestly sometimes, sometimes building from scratch is just like very annoying. Like it's just like programming for example now, instead of writing a code from scratch, you can take a code that's already existing and you can add your own and do what you want to do basically like that so i don't really know what it's like acquiring a land in ghana but you know it, it should be it shouldn't be so difficult i think or is it i don't know and as a foreigner how how is how how do you think is it easy 
for foreigners to actually acquire such properties without being cheated i don't know i just feel like you know this is not your country i don't know do you do you just like for example now when i was in school i was paying like four times of what Ghanaians were paying so if if for example i'm in nigeria and i want to buy a land or property do you think i'll be charged more than because i'm a foreigner or do you think i'll be charged the same amount these are things that i really want to know because i've noticed that it's something in different countries like countries act like it's one they know that you don't you're not like one of them you you try to like play fast on which is i think I, I guess that should be normal i'm not sure yeah for those of you that do not know the jubilee house the president's house okay we'll soon go in front of the i said president's house sorry president's office this is called this is the jubilee house we'll soon pass in front of this i'll show you guys a clearer clip of that place jubilee house i'll give, I'll give you guys a a clear footage I'll probably wear my windows on to show you guys to be careful. So this is Ridge. At least I know this place. Thank thank you Jesus. Ridge I think. <laughs> this is Ridge yeah, because my office is yeah around here. This is the Accra anyways for those of you that did not know you're welcome Loki. Okay. Yeah, so basically, so yeah, so uh, we'll soon move and I'll show you guys. So, yeah, so as I was saying, I, I want to know if people get cheated for that, you know, get priced differently because you're not a Ghanaian, you know. I can understand, like, if someone gives you, like, maybe something's supposed to be like, let's say, 1000 and they tell you 15, but I don't understand how somebody will give you something that is. It's supposed to be one thousand, and they'll tell you ten thousand. That one is just like you're a wicked person. But people do it, right? People do it. So tell me how that is like, you know. And hmm, okay, I'm passing Jubilee House now, so I'm going to show you guys. The car is moving. I'm going to ride down a bit. I hope police people don't see me doing that. Hey, don't worry, I won't wind down. Let me just show you guys from here. Okay. Look at this guy is blocking my view. Okay, so this is, you know, this place has a lot of security people. I don't want them to say, why am I taking a video of, <laughs> I don't want to come and beat me here. <laughs> but anyways, this is Jubilee House, basically. I don't know if you guys can see well. Yeah, this is, yeah, this place is tinted, so you won't really see it well. But yeah, this is, yeah. This is the Jubilee House that, you know, just like we have Asso Rock for our president <laughs> and we have the white house <laughs> we have the tree house <laughs> you know i heard it was called something something before i've forgotten what it was called before what was it called anyways you guys remind me what it was called so uh this <laughs> short video of me going to work you know and yes i also mentioned that i'm officially trying to be a Ghanaian. i want to be a Ghanaian. i want you guys to tell me when can i apply for my Excuse me. when can i apply for my um uh, is it Ghanaian citizenship or passport? I really want to apply. I don't know how many years that takes. I think if you've been here for more than five years or something, you can apply or something like that. So I want to try and get a Ghanaian passport as well. I think it's, it's long overdue. I deserve it. I think I do because Ghana is just, you know, just like being in America, you apply for green card and, you know, I don't know if it's five years or ten years, but if anybody knows that thing, I don't know. I, I, I just, you know, I have my friends telling me sometimes that, like, oh, you pronounce things like a Ghanaian, you sound like a Ghanaian, like that's my Nigerian friend. And I'm like, yeah, lucky. And I want to seal it by getting, making it official. You know, I might not be a Ghanaian by birth or by nationality, but thank God for other ways like Pali. <laughs> papers all those things so that that that, that would be bad that would be bad I'm, I'm sure i'm sure you guys will be happy to have someone like me as your sister so like i always say i'm almost at work right now okay i don't really always say anything but my name is tiffany once again okay i didn't even say my name i'm not nigerian based in ghana youtuber trying to become a Ghanaian <laughs> by by force my power by force but anyways that's that's not it so you guys just tell me about the land thing and also tell me about what particular pieces you 
would advise me to visit in Cape Coast. So I know about the Edmund Castle. Someone said the Cacoon or something. I think someone else said, um, what would someone say? But you guys just tell me. And I want to know who is from Cape Coast here. Do you guys have like a remote village around there? Obviously, we have remote villages, but I really want to like visit the whole, a remote village around Cape Coast. I don't know. I want to just like, yeah, basically. So, anyways, guys. This one is just yawning up and down. Sorry about that. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yes, thank you so much. We are almost at 5k subscribers. Hopefully, we reach 5k before the 25th of December. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a goal. So, if you've not subscribed and you're watching this video, if you've not, if you've not shared my link, you know if you're my day one please help me share my link share this thing carry this thing i think we're at one i said one four nine fifty or something so we have like 50 more to go so it's a small number if 10 people here can share my link <laughs> with i mean five people here can share my link with you know people so we can get somewhere so Destination is on the right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. I'm at work. I can't show you.